live from Austin, Texas, where I almost broke my leg for this one, so it better be good. <laughs> it's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. <laughs> Hello, Danny. So, uh... Uh, we had an adventure over the last ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, there, was a, there was a little bit of audio noise coming from outside, someone uh, blasting music from their car. So I went out there, and I said, hey, can you please turn it? And then I just completely ate shit and fell down and hurt my foot. <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. The man was a very nice man and he agreed to turn it down even after seeing me eat shit right was, in front of him. He was so concerned about you. He was I like, know. oh my god, are you okay? I wanted it to be a quick, simple thing and instead, nope. Yeah, he ate shit, poor it's, baby. It's never a quick, simple thing when the Philips CDI is involved. No, it's not. Hi, he folks. Was, I hi. Hope, I hope you're having a good day. I'm having an okay one. We're, we're doing okay. Just, just having a normal one over here. Oh, a normal day God. where we're all going to sit down and play Philips CDI games imported from the Netherlands. Yeah, he... he, he. Now, to be fair, he was he was also, he was very much like, hey, if you if it's ever too loud, please let me know. He was yeah. really sweet. Also, it was a relief, and a, it was nice to meet him, and then, ugh. <laughs> you know how it goes. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, it's time for a very special show. Mm -hmm. This week, in order to ease people's griefs, ease their problems, we're going to play Philip CDI games, the games with the most problems. Oh, my God. Speaking, yeah, it's just, you know what, let's just show off all the problems. Mm-hmm. We have a nice grab bag selection. No patron vote this week. This is a hand-picked selection of games that I actually own, half of which are from the Netherlands, and all of which are going to be completely amazing, because that's what the Philips CDI is. Absolutely. It's amazing. One of the best systems ever. Real quick, thank you to Alhel Magambo for the 12-month resub. Uh, Alhel Magambo says, Danny Tripp, so we could win. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable. Un fucking believable. I didn't even notice that you tripped over, too. It was, it was a driveway or something. I don't know. Oh, Angel, I love you. Poor man. <laughs> also, thanks to Bad Game Hall of Fame for 20 months. Oh, Much shit. appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even see that. Thank you so much. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Okay, it looks like that's it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Cookie has also blessed the chat. I needed a blessing right Thank now. Thank you. So... What do you say we get things started in a big way with a Absolutely. game that's completely undocumented on the internet? You go to YouTube, you are not going to find any videos of this game, uh, likely because it's not emulated. We are going to play Third Degree. Uh, before we get started, special thanks to friend of the show Devil Ray for gifting us this game. Well, thank I, you! I mentioned this so you can blame her for everything that goes wrong over the next 20 minutes. <laughs> thank you, Devil Ray. <laughs> let's get this started. All right, let's go. Who needs an ice pack? I was going to say, if you need me to get you some ice, I don't mind. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I said a bunch of cusses. I feel bad. <laughs> it's okay. The guy was really chill about it. No, I just want to say... Here's a transcription. Arg! Shit! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, also, earlier I said that the guy was probably having a party. He was not. I want to just... That was... That was... That was... It all worked out as well as it could. And that I'm was happy defamation that. on my part. Not fair. This is from our friends at PF Magic, creator Ooh. of cats, dogs, and um. Hey, did you see that clown? Yeah. Yeah. What What is this game? You're gonna find out. This is one that's really special. I wasn't sure if I should begin or end this stream uh, with this game, or if I should play it at all, frankly. But here we are, in the people's court. Wait, are we being judged? Uh-huh. Please don't judge me. Hello and welcome to Third Degree. <laughs> Excuse me! A game show that puts you in the hot seat. And allows you to ask personal questions of friends or complete strangers. Not exactly. <laughs> Please, Grandma, can I rent a porno? <laughs> what the fuck, man? If you need help understanding the game, this is the place to get it. Just highlight the yes selection on the screen with your controller, and then press button one. If you know the rules or simply don't care, select no and press button 1. And anytime you're confused about how to use the controller to select something, press button 2 and we will explain how to do it. So this is a body adult oriented video game uh, presented in game show format. I don't think it's porn. Pretty sure it's not. PF Magic is a pretty uh, straight and narrow company. They wouldn't mm -hmm. just do that. But I say that because, you know, these kinds of edgy things back then may be a little bit problematic in today's eyes. Yeah. I didn't see anything too bad from my testing, but there's a lot of different questions, a lot of different situations. So 
viewer beware, you're in for a scare. Yeah, this is a 90, I don't know how else to say it other than a 90s third alert. third degree is to predict what your friends will do in various social situations typical in our modern lives. Uh, it's a good Points thing we're quarantined because I'm never going to go outside again. And the ability to convince others that you have the most reasonable answer. First, a player is chosen hey, randomly to sit in the hot seat. This person mm -hmm. will be shown a dilemma from one of five different categories oh. and asked how they would react if they were in a similar situation. The hot seat player will enter their response in secret by moving the pointing device on the controller in one of four directions. Would you eat a the tomato off the fish? What the fuck is, is a tomato challenger. fish? This person gets oh, the she's clown. Clown. in the hot seat would react to the same problem. Remember, eat the it, challenger tell her the or lie. Seat player's true response. Not how they themselves would have. I'd do them. something else. The challenger also secretly enters a choice with the controller. If the challenger has correctly <laughs> guessed what the hot seat player would Eat do, it. the same number of points will be awarded to so, each player. If the answers it's don't the newlywed match, game. A judge is yeah. randomly selected. Okay, it's a newlywed game, but the hot clown seat player smokes. and the challenger and with a mandatory have third an party to explain their answers, and the judge will award points to the player whose answer is the most convincing. Remember. The judge can decide that the challenger knows you better than you know yourself. Ugh. Except in my case. There will be three rounds. So what you say doesn't matter. It's round, all on the whims of the third party, the third the degree, if you will. And also to be the challenger. Thank you so much, Bill Each Wolf, for the rain. We're playing the before. clown game. Hi everyone. Welcome to <laughs> third degree for Philip C D I. A fun party game for adults. You're all adults, right? Variations to each Please round, be adults. Which we will explain as we go along. In just a moment, each player will sign in, selecting a name, gender, okay. and playing piece. Cool. If you make a mistake during this process, you should select the go back option to undo your choice. If you get confused while trying to this make a right game of the game, press button two on your controller. This is a game for grandma? Explain what to do next. For kids, not and for kids. By the way, here's a secret trick if you want to skip some Johnson. of the long parts at the beginning. Looks kind of like him. Looks like Johnson. Johnson. Sorry. Just press button one on your controller That's and you me. jump ahead to the next. <laughs> I'm the, the smoking Simple, frog woman. It? If it was any simpler, it might not be any fun to play. Everyone needs to sign in now. This will let okay. us talk. Okay, okay this is the fun part. Basis. Because this game actually recognizes many common names, many and it'll call you by your name. We're doing three players. Okay. I will be player three and one. Okay, so you're gonna be the judge. Yeah. Okay. Whoever happens first to have is the Danny. Begin signing in by choosing. Hey, you're that asshole we who fell down out there. <laughs> scientists working for months to gather a list of names that would most likely be yours. If your name doesn't appear. All right. Enter if you are male or female. Surprise me! Select, surprise me, and we'll pick a gender for you. <laughs> Please enter now. Oh, folks, oh that's, that, was, that was God to me at first. Folks, this game allows you to get surprised with your gender. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wild. Surprise me. All right. You want us to select your sex? Shouldn't you have thought of that years ago? Danny, this is your surprise gender. Enjoy. <laughs> now choose a playing piece to represent you during the game. To oh my god. This, this is your surprise gender. Oh my god. Alright, who am I out of all these people? Well, I think I gotta go... Assign surprise at birth. <laughs> I gotta go with uh, this guy. Alright, I love that clown. I see you've selected the business clown. <laughs> pass the controller to the next player so that they can sign in. It doesn't matter who gets it. Next. All right, this is already one of the funniest games I've ever played. It was just the way he said it. It's all. Okay. Please sign in. Mm, I see you've selected the business clown. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and play for you just okay. for uh, just for convenience. Alex, sake. Alex is there. Hooray. Alex is there. Uh. <clears throat> Do you want me to just go with male? <laughs> just go with male. Yeah. I'm Select one of the male. Not in the <laughs> Yeah, me either, frankly. <laughs> so which character is you? Uh, I want... Oh my god, there's two furries. Oh, oh there's liking, another clown. I'm liking some of these. Holy these are pretty shit. good. Wow! Sorry, what? sorry. Phone, cli phone tiger. Phone, phone tiger. tiger. Phone tiger. Do not with... show me anything else other right. than phone tiger. Alex is the phone tiger. I'm phone tiger. I'm the tiger. <laughs> Alex, you've chosen the office tiger. Yes! Give the control Office the tiger versus business clown. Fight. Yes! <laughs> yes! 
Now it's the last player's turn to sign in. You know the drill. Now, I don't know who we should go with for the, uh, the third character, name. but Please they do have a bunch name. of optional nicknames, which is nice. Business clown is office tiger your friends suggest one. I'm going to go with surprise me. Okay. What is your name? Oh, good. Someone who likes being surprised. Midge. <laughs> Midge? Midge? Remember who gave it to you. <laughs> Midge? We could have had Motorhead and you went with Midge. Offered. Or let us surprise Should we stick with Midge? Uh, yes. All right. For, and, and for, time, surprise. for time concerns, we're going with Midge, not Motorhead. And we're going to be surprised with uh, Midge's gender. <laughs> Midge, so you want us to choose your sex? That sounds like fun. Midge, I hope this gender is compatible with what you've had in mind, or at least a pleasant change. <laughs> They're very cool about it. You've got to admit. Final choice of playing pieces. And Midge will get a surprise avatar, I think, too. All right, real quick. Uh... I can't Hold think on. of anything that I would rather do than surprise you with your playing piece. Another clown! A second clown! You are the clown. You don't All have right. to hand the controls to anybody. Real quick, thank you to Feltemp uh, Reparatio for gifting a sub to the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, thank you. And welcome to the club. Mm -hmm. We got clowns and also business clowns. Men. Clown you town. Number the women. It won't be any advantage, however. But it may be handy if some heavy lifting suddenly becomes necessary. I can't believe we ended up with two clowns. Two clowns! <laughs> Luck now of the draw. Everyone is signed in. Let's explain the rules for the first round. Each player will so be the there's no funny the pictures to go along with this part, round. so I'm going to skip it. Good. We'll spin the film strip. Yeah, the rules listing tends to take a lot of time, and it's not very humorous. Let's see who'll be up first in the hot seat. Gotta be funny with the clowns. <laughs> it's all clowns. <laughs> it's clowns and me screaming into a phone. Midge. Midge. You've been the hot seat, and your challenger will be. Who's it gonna be? Will it be other clown? <laughs> nope. Office tiger. Alex, you're up as the challenger. Now we'll select a category. Okay. The possibilities are love, family, careers. Money or potpourri? Clowns to the left of me, clowns to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with Office Tiger. <laughs> Thank you, Revenant. Money. This will stir up some conversation. Oh, look at that fat stack of 20s. Uh, I kind of love this nightmare game, personally. It's pretty good so far. Midge, <laughs> your house needs some major repairs. You ask a friend if he can recommend a reliable contractor. And he proudly announces that he can do the job himself. And save you money. The what? twin benefits of saving some cash and helping out a friend sounds like a good deal. So you let him tackle the house. And after he's done, that's exactly what it looks like he did. The work was so lousy, you <laughs> wonder if it was deliberate. As you're scanning the disaster, your pal, the repairman, walks in, puffs out his chest, and proudly asks how you like the improvements. Before you can answer, he hands you a bill. Midge, what are you going to do? Would you chalk it up to experience and pay him? Would you point out to him what's wrong and ask him to do it over? Or would you not only refuse to pay, but find someone else to do it right? Answer now. What would you do, Alex? I'd personally just, I would pay him, but I'd ask him to do it over. I'd be like, could you? <laughs> you gotta pick you... one. <laughs> uh, oh. Is this for Midge? Well, it's for Midge, but I'm going to give the points to you. Okay, let's let's say, I would say do it over. I wouldn't refuse to pay, but I'd be okay. like, could you? Alex, you've seen the problem. How do you think our friend would respond to this shoddy situation? Well, I... Your <laughs> now. Well, I think they would want to do it over, personally. <laughs> he is dressed Midge, like Luigi. You say you would make him do it over. Alex? You say she would make him do it over. Yeah, I know Mitch pretty well. Midge, is this because you want your money's worth? Or do people see you as a personal motivator? Agreement! I just, I went to a clown college with Midge. I ended up <laughs> dropping out, went into tiger school, but... <laughs> yeah, they were a little too yeah. preachy over there. Both mm -hmm. of you agreed on how to handle this matter of money. And you each get ten points and ten dollars. Oh, congrats, Midge, Alex. Right congrats, now. Midge. Ten dollars? Ooh. Thanks to Akadar for the 11 months. Oh, hell Much yeah. appreciated. A television game show. Welcome to the show. There would be a commercial break, so you could go get something to eat. Or whatever. 
Since it's interactive, you get to control the brakes instead of the network. And we don't try to sell you anything. When you decide to continue to play, just touch button one on your controller. Man, that's the power of the CDI. If you were watching Wheel of Fortune, they'd be like, ooh, you should buy some detergent. <laughs> no, Black, stuff it. Black calls this You Don't Know Jack for people trying to fall asleep. Danny was calling <laughs> You Don't Know Jack it's, earlier. It's You Don't Know Jack for, like, 60-year-olds. Sophisticated. You Don't Know Jack. That got things off to a rousing start. Now, I'm roused. Let's spin for a new hot <laughs> and seat. a little bit injured. <laughs> Me. Yeah! You're in the hot seat. Now we'll spin for a challenger. Who's gonna challenge me? Clown versus clown. clown Who's versus gonna clown. challenge my clown acumen? <laughs> <laughs> clown versus clown! You're placed in the challenger seat. They look clown like the same clown. I went to real college in addition to clown college. He went to business clown college. Midge just went to two different clown colleges and dropped out. This should be provocative. Was that one of those new mechanical keyboards everyone's doing? <laughs> yeah, by Fisher Price. Mm -hmm. Danny, it's the first day of a new job. You've polished up your resume, sweated through the interview, mm -hmm. and did everything possible to make a good impression. But now it's the first day of work, and you are sick as a dog. Armed with a pocket full of pills and a jug full of eye drops, you look normal. But inside you is a raging inferno of fever and a sledgehammer headache. Your Folks. new boss is introducing you to people whose names you immediately forget. And then Folks. you your first assignment, which he expects you to have finished by five o'clock. Danny, what would you do? Would you stay in the job and try not Folks. to pass out? Would you tell the boss you're ill and need to go home? Or would you stop trying to look healthy and get someone to notice how sick you are so you'll be sent home? <laughs> your answer now. Well, in the before times, uh, keep in mind this game was made in 1991, or 92, or 93, or something. Early 90s. In the before times, you would go to work sick, and uh, just make the best of it. Try to tough it out. Uh, me, though, I would try to garner sympathy. I would say try to look sick. Mm. Midge, you've heard the dilemma. So how do you think this sickening situation would be handled by your friend? Respond now. Midge thinks I would hang in there. Midge is wrong. Look, now I'm dead. <laughs> Rick! Hey. You say you'd try to look sick. Midge, you say he would hang in there. Danny, you say the best option would be to look ill and hope someone takes pity. <laughs> Your friends think you'd stick it out. Is this because people think you're a hard worker or um, a cringing coward? Excuse me, Danny is not a cringing coward. You should have seen what happened before the show. I have the power to pull this disc out of the Both CDI right the now and break it. Of the workplace. Oh, who's a who's a cringy coward now? Alex, you're the judge. You get to listen to the players tell why they answered the way they did. Who do you then think deserves the points? You. you. Get all Absolutely. <laughs> Look sick so your boss feels guilty and sends you home. Because if you Danny, just say you're sick, they'll the be like. You get You're an points. essential worker here at the yes. Nike Shoes the for Dogs or whatever. I guess in a way this is a valuable cultural one. artifact. Maybe uh, workplace behavior will I change like in the that. near future. It reminded me of discussions I used to have with my philosophy professor. Oh, how posh. Oh, wonderful. Did you, did you take philosophy at Clown College too? <laughs> clown philosophy. <laughs> here we are at the last dilemma of this round. Let's spin for the hot seat player. Today we study the works of the great Pagliacci. That's all we study there. That's why I went to business school. Alex, glad to have you in the hot seat. Get comfortable. The challenger will be selected in a moment. Tiger, we got you on the phones today. Okay. Oh boy. Oh man. Danny, you're all set up as the challenger. <laughs> now we'll select a category. Okay, so we actually do have to keep this one secret. Why don't you take the controller here? Okay. All you have to do is push in a direction and don't tell me what it is. Okay. It's fitting that this should be the last category of round one. <laughs> this may be the last category of our marriage. Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alex, you are at a small get-together. With your girlfriend. Steady. Wife. Whatever seems appropriate to you. Her title doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is that she tells a story to the group 
that is very personal. <laughs> Mostly you. And while no one else seems to mind, you're a little taken aback. It's not the sort of story that could be said is definitely inappropriate. <laughs> but still, you feel uncomfortable. These stock photos make it. They just, they make it. Would you try to get the conversation onto another subject? Or would you one up her and tell a personal story in which she's the star? Or would you request she stop the embarrassing chatter then and there? Answer now. Go with your heart, and I'll try to guess what you said about that situation. Danny, now that you have also seen the dilemma, how do you think this public <laughs> invasion of privacy would be handled? Answer here. I mean, you don't gotta tell me my dick's small. Turn the tables. Alex, Look over there! You say you would change the subject. Danny, you say he would tell one about her. <laughs> Alex. What better way to change the subject than to turn the tables? I mean, you're not wrong. It's kind of the same thing if you think about it. Looks like the tables have turned on heteronormativity. <laughs> Take that, oh, Philip CDI. I disagreed on this matter of the heart. Now turn and hurl insults at 20 paces. Hey, hey shit, gosh. business clown. Wait, that's me. Robe. It's up to you. Listen to both sides and then award the points. I, I, think, I think Midge would award the points to Alex. Okay. Oh, yeah, chat Alex, should have done judge. has declared you winner, so you receive 10 points. Danny, you lose. Next time, throw yourself on the mercy of the court. Or just throw yourself on the judge. <laughs> He's throwing himself, all right. Here's how the clown throwing himself on another clown. <laughs> all right, everyone wants chat to be Mitch, so... Okay. Let's do it. We'll do that next time. All right. Alex? Yeah! Business Tiger! First round, you're in the lead. But there seems to be a tie for second place. But this is only the end of round one. There are two more rounds to go. Let's begin round two. That was an interesting outcome. Wasn't it? Oh, it's quite round two interesting. Round is similar to round one, except the dilemmas are worth a varying number of points, from 10 to 30. And instead of us selecting a category at random, the player in the hot seat gets to choose a category and spin for the point value of... Yeah, 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 yeah. Get Enough get yakking. It. Let's get to the business clown. Let's see who's going to start round two in the hot seat. Which of the clowns or possibly Tiger will it be? It's you. this clown. Danny, you start this round out in the hot seat. I just love the, I love the cigarette in your mouth. Be. Just. I'm, I'm business. Mm -hmm. I'm here on business. Uh, uh oh. Alex, you're the first challenger in round two. All right, chat, you gotta be Mitch here. Uh-huh. Danny, now you're faced with a tough decision. So you can spin for a chance at more or possibly less or take the 20. For 20 points or spin the film and take your chances on a higher... I'm gonna spin to win. All right. The camera for? Uh, to take up space. Okay. I don't Watch think it's an actual square. Closely. It's going to be worth 30 points. 30 freaking points. Danny... Now it's time to select a category. Your choices for categories include love, family, careers, money, or potpourri. You pick the category, and then we randomly select a dilemma in that category for you. Just use your... Alex, enjoy some potpourri. Oh, man. Danny, you've that chosen a brand new category. More trumpet layers. <laughs> <laughs> so many trumpets. Danny, you're over at a friend's house. Now it's someone you haven't seen since the last time you got Wait, together I guess this is a me. few months yeah. ago at your place. You are looking around the place when you notice an item that looks mighty familiar. Suddenly you remember that you had one just like it, <coughs> but it was lost a while ago. As a matter of fact, you think that the last time you saw it was about the time this so-called friend of yours came to your place. <laughs> you look at it closely, and while there these is no photos. proof that it does in fact belong to you... I can only assume these are PF Magic employees. Sure oh my yours. god! Danny, how would you handle is he choking me?! Situation? Would I think we should wait and let him choke us out. Thought your friend did lift it from you. Let your friend you kill you. Ask what shop or dresser bureau he got it from. <clears throat> or would you avoid embarrassing your friend and thoughtfully steal it back when he wasn't looking? Enter now. Okay, so Alex has to guess what I would do in this situation. Mm -hmm. Knowing Alex, full well what happened not half an hour ago. How do you think here is going to handle this <laughs> sticky-fingered situation? Answer now.
What would Danny do? WWDD. Danny, you say you would ask about it. Hey! You say he would ask about it. Yeah, right? I know you! You Both ask about it! We ain't been married for eight years for nothing. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Sherlock Holmes would be proud. Agreement. Alright, no need to judge this time. Sorry, midges. <laughs> you two matched. Congratulations. It is a documented Hope fact so. that matching in the potpourri category is extremely difficult. Mm, Too mm. bad you don't get bonus points for the effort. You both get 30 big points. Oh, those are big points. Ooh, beefy points. What do you say we do one more round and then we move on? Okay. I have no idea how long this game is, so oh, we I might as well. Time, yeah. yeah, we better <laughs> cut this short after this next round. After we dump on Midge. Now we'll see who's up next in the hot seat. Isn't that what uh, Mo called Marge in the Simpsons? Yes. <laughs> That's also one of Barbie's friends, I think. Business Tiger. Alex, you've been chosen for the hot seat, and your challenger will be up in a moment. And yeah, as Electric Boogaloo mentioned, this is by some of the same folks that did Night Trap. Midge. James yep. Riley. James Riley and Ron Fulop. All right, Alex, Jack. what do you want to do? Do you want to spin or play for 20? Have the opportunity we'll play to for 20. Excitement in your life. Smart Quicker. play. Smart play. Mm -hmm. This situation is worth 20 points. All right. Alex, okay, so Alex is going to guess what to do. Like to suffer through. And now. you, the chat, as Midge, will have to read his mind. Let's, let's check family. Ew. Oh, Rob Fulop. Alex, you're in first place. For now, anyway. <laughs> Kind of surprised no one has ever heard of this game. It seems like it might have been popular among some people, but no one known to see the eye, so. Yeah. Maybe in the Netherlands it was. You and your spouse. Your mate. Your significant other. Whatever they call the person you're living with these days. Yeah, are, are both slowly being squeezed out of your house. Over the years, you have accumulated a lot of stuff. And now it is uh -oh. filling all horizontal storage space. So Too real. I'm sorry about all my CDI games. Anymore. <laughs> to give yourselves more room. And make a little money, too. You decide to have a garage sale. When you both begin it's to get the bonus for sale, the disagreements begin. Is that keepsake from your high school days a treasured memento? Or just junk? What about that gift from your aunt? Which you hate. But might be necessary to have around if she comes to visit. <laughs> if you need it for you a puzzle later. strongly held opinions about what is trash. And what is worth saving. <laughs> yeah, the Zavaport is not trash. trash. Most, most valuable treasures. treasures. See, you agree. Alex, what would you do? Would you bite the bullet and get rid of everything? Would you go through lengthy negotiations and then decide what to sell? Or would you forget the whole thing and find some more stored space? Even what though you be? have trouble making decisions, you have to answer now. Alex has to answer this question knowing full well that the metal CD rack built entirely for his software and his games, one of the shelves is fully occupied by, by, by my entire <laughs> CDI collection. <laughs> That's true! <laughs> Now's your chance, Alex. Now's your chance you to know, tell me I'm how gonna, you really I'm feel. i say the truth how I feel about this. There okay. we go. <clears throat> Midge, you've seen All right, voices. chat. How do you think this cluttered situation <laughs> yeah, This game is nothing but good Talk faces. Your answer now. So, chat, you are Midge. What do you think Alex would do in this situation? Uh, pretend Alex has gone berserk, noticing that he had something to put on his media shelf, but no room, because it's full of shit like Dezak Van Sam and Wacky World <laughs> of Miniature Golf. Right. Just just completely filled. You would be enraged, too. You'd, am, be, you'd be right to feel that way. I am seeing a mix of rent storage and negotiate. Okay, so what do you think uh, has more answers? Uh, <laughs> and something else. Well, you know... Chat, I am seeing, I am, I am really seeing negotiate the most, I think, and rent, you know, it's rent, storage, and negotiate, so, one, two, three, I'm, dead, 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 fine, I'm going with rent, storage. Okay. And her over. Okay. Thank you. Alex, and the chat died, You I say think. you would only oh, sell Alex. agreed objects. Midge, you say he would rent storage space. Alex, oh, apparently you feel that you have more patience for discussion than some people think. <laughs> That's true. Some I do people. negotiate, though. I'm like, all right. I do the whole Marie Kondo thing where I touch something, and I'm like, the two of does Zavix port spark love? <laughs> do you really need to have three copies of Mystic Midway Phantom Express? I mean... You're the judge. I'm just kidding. I only have two.
All right, what do you think? Okay, the reason I'm I didn't gonna say rent with... storage is because that's expensive, and then if we can't pay it, they take our stuff, and then the storage company has your Zavix port, and your and your Zavix port is on an episode of Storage Wars. Yeah, and some a... jerk off with a bad mustache is gonna get it and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna sell this for a million dollars on eBay." Yeah, oh, the Jackie that. Chan fitness mat. This is worth a bundle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I choose Alex, the negotiator, is what they call him. Thank you. Alex, it's called building it's consensus. My to notify you that the judge has ruled in your favor. Oh, thank you! I'm not going to jail. So one of us was going to jail. Yeah, I, I, I you, when you skip the rules, you skip that part. Whoever loses goes to jail. Shit. Well, I think Midge is going there. You receive no points. Yeah, fuck me, Midge. There was there was an episode of Hoarders where they were like, "A oh, police are gonna arrest this guy if he doesn't stop hoarding." What? <laughs> and I, all I can think of is, man. If uh, if number of CDI games in your collection is the basis for which you should go to jail for, I'm in trouble. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ending the game early. Alex has 70 points. I have a mere 40. Midge, sorry, you get to take home a copy of our exciting home game. Let's quit. Get out of here. Goodbye for now. As you start cleaning up, here's a list of names and job titles you can look at. Did we make a miss? <laughs> oh, it's the... Okay. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I kind of like this game. I'd like to play it again. It wasn't terrible. <laughs> yeah. I can think of this kind of as a girls club for adults. Uh, we threw out the Zavix port boxes, I'm pretty sure, yeah? A couple of them. Yeah. I kept so some of them, though. have some. Man. That, that one session just revealed so much about our relationship. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I was that guy. Oh my god. Look at yeah. all these people who had to be stock photographs. But hey, wait what? a minute. What? Hold on. Where's Rolo? Oh, put put that back. Put that back. Okay, too okay. late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this did have some big names from the interactive media uh, phenomenon that was happening at the time. People who worked on Night Trap. Uh, a lot of talented photographers, I can only assume. People who are really good at making faces while they stuffed whole fishes into their mouths. Mm -hmm. Boris Johnson. Look at these guys. So, so many Sheesh. good faces. The opponent, you need a copy of this game. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, that was a Dr. Mario riff. It was. <laughs> Smash your face into the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All these faces are so perfect. Name research. They needed a PhD guide for name research. How expensive was this game? It's all still photos. Tim Justice? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. I, Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm, I'm laughing at the picture. Oh. Yeah, that's right. We got a bunch of clowns in here. Mm -hmm. That's third degree. Thanks, Devil Ray, for that. I'm not sure what that was, but I enjoyed it. Uh, we need to do that again sometime. I love that. That's me playing this game. It's that like, is, that <laughs> is me, business clown. That is me laughing out loud. Do not make copies of this got it all right so i forgot to mention at the top of the show but these games are a particular kind of dank like super dangerous levels of dank so i figure what i do is to cut them i'm going to cut them with familiar games games that we know and love games that bring joy before we dive into the deepest ends of the cdi pool uh, with that in mind now that you've explored the unexplored with third degree we're going to cover an old favorite by the name of effacer Picture this. It's the 26th century. Mm -hmm. The grammar Nazis have taken over. They brutally execute everyone who makes flubs with English language, spelling, and all the grammar rules. The twist? You play as the Nazis. It's true, though. Like, Danny's not, not joking. It literally is about people who kill you over bad grammar, which I guess that's just online. Thank you real quick to <laughs> Lena Lieta for the 30-month resub. Lena says, finally we get to use words to kill people for their grammar crimes. Hell yeah. And Family Consumer gave us 100 bits to say, want to grow up to be in the face of... <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, the hit Pixie song, 
effacer, hangman of the 21st century. <laughs> now, we've seen this before, so we'll probably only go a couple of rounds, but we didn't see everything this game has to offer the first time around, and I've been eager to get back to it. Yeah. This is just a feel-good game. You feel good. Yeah, no word crimes. I'm watching all your spelling in chat. Oh, also, I don't think we thank... Did, you, did we thank Trace Bullet for the resub? I did not. Okay, well, thank you very much for the resub, Trace Bullet. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you. Six months in a row. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And now you get a facer. The weirdly high-budget Hangman Dystopia game. Choose letters wisely, human. The fate of the galaxy's worst spellers rests with you. These intractable illiterates bear no shame, no regret for their lack of initiative in learning to read. They harbor no guilt in having others read for them, care not for the trouble they cause. He is a bionicle, what the fuck? The well-read citizenry of this lush planet of Gaia Oh, he has a better frame right now. Wish you well hey. in your quest to spell correctly. That's the coolest door into a tree I've ever seen. To the desolate you know what it is? Galaxy, the Vordor. Planet Good luck on your mission. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get one. One per one per non-Friday stream. You helped me up when I fell. That's true. I, I literally lifted you up when you were down. Alright, who's our first victim? Ah. <laughs> Great value grouped. <laughs> what are your powers, human? What is your speed and stamina? Oh, this is difficulty Simples select. Along the <laughs> it took me a second. I haven't the played this in a while. That? I choose uh, cross shape with extra lines on the right and bottom. That right. means medium. Okay, who is this disgrace? Who is this absolute motherfucker you've brought in front of us today? This piece of shit. Separated by his jealous siblings at birth. Greebeard goes through life, hacking apart language he knows he should leave together. As a young adult, he began to cleave infinitives from their subjects. Oh, he's an, an, he's an infinitive splitter. He left a long trail of shattered sentences and gained quite a reputation in the territories for violent behavior toward language. After the destruction of the Emperor's encyclopanic orb, the Metaphorians, investigators from my planet, Gaia, brought him in for questioning. At the inquest, Greebeard stated, I would never try to, out of, for instance, fury or deceit, damage the Emperor's encyclopanic orb. My god. Yes, his own defense sealed his fate. He split the infinitive to damage and the prepositional phrase out of fury or deceit Un right there freaking on the witness believable stand. this guy now it's up to you you can't believe people do to that to execute his sentence that's right we got to execute him in the traditional way hangman i loved all that lore they were all like oh the metaphorians which sounds a little bit too much like metaphorians to me yeah 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 i saw someone mention the metaphorians <laughs> okay good it's not just me Okay, we got plenty of letters here. What is that, a ten-letter word? Now first we have to shock our victim to get him all nice and ready for execution. This is... I forgot how fucked up this was. This is a video game that was sold. Many copies were sold, actually. This is a very cheap game. You can get a copy for like five bucks if you want. Yeah, no, we are, we are literal grammar Nazis. We are going around the universe executing people for bad grammar. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to different dimensions and executing people for bad grammar. What word is this, you think? Cafeteria? No, there's a big gap between the T and the... 
decafeteria. <laughs> In your cafeteria, it's a little less, you know, energy-ish. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't do it! He's gonna get away! He got away scot-free! Damn it! You did it! Justice was not served today. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's see. Chat. Oh, it was diphtheria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that classic word we're saying every day, diphtheria. Let's, let's do one more. Okay. What do you think they did? Uh, they were... I don't know. They were out. a little bit too skinny, so maybe they tried to truncate words. Mm. They're an abbreviator, maybe. Ooh. My crime. Reckless! Oh, ooh. Striking so it's me. Hyphena of the planet Cilia wrecks writings from one quadrant of the Milky Way to the other. She killed she dozens with a single <laughs> M-dash. Divide words according to their syllables. Divide words after vowels and between double letters. Do not divide words before the final ED. Yet she continues to disregard the rules of language. In her most notorious crime, Hyphena butchered the text of the Intragalaxy Charter so mercilessly that the document lost all meaning. Later, Shouldn't have left it up to her. tried to translate the charter, war nearly erupted over disputes that had been long settled. Disputes that were provoked once again by the altered charter. See, that's what happens Here's when you spell an and grammar bad. Work. We agree it had PC is still very in principle he had been disowned to for Torres. After her capture, the rhetoricians charged Hyphena with reckless hyphenation. Don't let her crimes go unchallenged. I don't think those were words. You know, I would be totally dead in this game. Yeah. This is a real idea. They would take one look at my Twitter feed and they wouldn't even bother. They, just they were like, the type one like sentence that. to gain absolution. And you would be like, the, and they'd be like, death! <laughs> Okay, we gotta be more careful this time around. I think we only get four, maybe five mistakes, so we better go with the uh, Wheel of Fortune classics first. R-S-T-L-N-E. Okay. Serves us the uh, Federation well. Oh shit, there's no S's, no T's. There's an E, okay. Uh, sphere. Share. Uh, uh, there's no S, so we can't use S. Uh, let's... Maybe there's an A. Aha. Oh, 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 Azure was recommended. A -Z -U -R -E. Really? U-R-E. That sounds like a really obscure letter, but, I mean, a really obscure word, but then again. Nope, it's not nope, Azure. it is okay. not Azure. Good guess, though. Yeah. Excellent guess, in fact. Um, I think I only get one more wrong choice, so I better think carefully. Hmm. A door? No, it is not a door. Okay, uh... Oh, God, what is this? A sure? No, we already used the no S's. Anime. Uh, a guy or A-G-I-R-E, I saw. Is that a word? A more, A-M-O-R-E. Oh. And allure, 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 try allure. No, there's, uh, that's two L's. Okay. Would they go with a more? That's, that's a foreign word. No. Damn it. Was it? We are 0 for 2. So we're dead. And the word was... A, f a fire? A fire. Really? I'm gonna light the world afire. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I know. It's in here. I wanna kill at least one dude. We gotta... We gotta... Okay. Okay, this next guy I'm not gonna do the biography for. We're just gonna kill him. You're just... You're gone. I don't know. You, uh... Okay, never mind. We're gonna look at what this criminal's deal is, because I don't want... I'm, I'm curious. You, we gotta know! Look at them! The Wiggles! The Wigglies! This is a particularly interesting case. It involves identical twins, <laughs> otherwise known as the Twisted Sibs. The, <laughs> the Twisted Sibs! They are wanted in every constellation of the universe. <laughs> Despite their smooth appearance, the Wigglies are cruel and deceptive. They know that the words not, never, nowhere, and hardly should not be used together. 
or with other negatives like they're just vibing nobody they are vibing but the sisters insist on making every sentence doubly negative they also steal oxygen from grandmothers and they knock down octopods who are learning to walk they rob transcurrency machines at space stations the wigglies always strike at twilight and work alone never together they steal from By ATMs and steal ventilators from grandmas. Speaking They're evil. They try to wriggle out of responsibility for their crime. No, I've already decided on death. You don't need to. Yeah, yeah. And the jury is having a hard time deciding how to charge them. You can understand why the jury is confused. One sister reported to the court. I didn't go nowhere close to the scene of no crime. The other said. I can't hardly understand why you charge me. I Ugh, I can't nothing. even. Honest. And you understand? I, I, I would say that the, the actual crimes may be worse than the, you know, the word crimes here, but hey, I am... I'm not judge, jury, and executioner. Okay, this is the last one. We have to pour all of our intelligence into this one. So everyone put all your brain cells together and give me a nine-letter word that will execute these uh, twisted sibs. Uh, Blab said to go with vowels. That's a pretty good move. That's smart. Let's go ahead and do that. Every syllable's got to have a vowel in it. That's how it works. Mm hmm That's your science, man. Yeah. All right, Cookie's blessing the chat. Okay, no O's. Uh, Effacer. No S's. Oh, got T. Anteater. Oh, God. Maneater. Okay, if I were to choose the next letter, what'll it be? Chat? Chat, you choose the next letter. Give me letter. some letters. Uh, I just saw the, uh, let's see. Rat fucker, rat eater. <laughs> I or M? Okay, I or M. Okay. Mm hmm. I see more suggestions for M. No M. We're, we're close, though. We're so close. Mm. Batty, catty, uh, daddy. We already have an A, so maybe you. Fatty, gaddy. Valid liar, cat dancer, L, L, L. L seems a good L choice. L seems like it's... All right, what word is this? Lat I'm not choosing another letter latis until... Lattice? 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 Lat... Lattice? Oh, do I look like I know words? Man, this is like some kind of college word. Mm-hmm. Lat... Latin? Lat... Latticifer? There's no N. Latissifer. Everyone's saying Latissifer, so try a C. If this, this is, is Latissifer, I am going to... This isn't a fucking word. You can't fool me. Yeah, try, try F. You're oh full my, of shit, that's game. That's a lie! This game is This dying. is medium difficulty. I have never heard that word in my life. Anyway... Oh my god! They're executed. <laughs> Holy shit! Justice is served. What does Latissifer mean? It means mean? a plant duct containing latex. What the... What the fuck does that mean? Here is the definition you requested. Mm -hmm. If you can't see the whole thing, use the up and down arrows to page through the text. Hey, when you're Effacer, done, click page through this. <laughs> Latissifer. What the hell is that, man? Made up bullshit doctor words that civilians would never use. <laughs> I'm not smart enough for that game. You no know what way. I'm smart enough for? Hmm. Domino. Oh, Domino. Just the one. Okay. Uh, the cover claims, Het oste spiel het nieuwste medium, which means the oldest game, the newest medium. Oh! This game was released in 1997. A game about dominoes released for the Philips CDI exclusively in the Netherlands in 1997. When Dutch people could get their hands on a nice, juicy Sega Saturn, a delicious Sony PlayStation, or and a they could tasty N64. Yeah, any one of those. But maybe you want Domino. I mean, yeah. I mean, what if they wanted to? Is annoyed in this one? Oh, I hope so. You gotta avoid that guy, Domino. Yeah. All right. I do like the art aesthetic. I have a feeling it's just Domino. We may not play this one for very long. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Okay, H Hog's H Hog is Dutch, and I just just to clarify because we've been speaking a lot of. This. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. No, they they say they did not know a single person who owned a CDI. So did this was this just an overall failure? That'd be delightful. Maybe. I do know it was especially popular in Sweden and the Netherlands, those Nordic countries, you know. Wait, this is it. <laughs> it's Domino, baby. So this is a, a CDI disc dedicated to the game of dominoes. Cool soundtrack. Wow. Well, I'm glad I had a whole bunch of games lined up for tonight's stream. <laughs> it's really just bare bones dominoes. It doesn't even have like a cool intro that shows Aww. you like the history of dominoes. I, I like the uh, I like the the forest dominoes here. Those are cool. Yeah, I like that they give you little mushroom pieces. And the music's pretty jamming. But otherwise, I don't think you're gonna get too many people together. Uh, let's all let's all write into Wigant Interactive, whoever they are, <laughs> tell them to make a better game. Do better, Wigant. Wow, that's like a new record. We played that for what, like five seconds. Yeah, that was like ten. <laughs> um, I was gonna switch to an old favorite, but let's go ahead and skip ahead to CD Shoot. Ooh. So are we shooting the CDI or random CDs or? <sighs> Congrats, congrats to Domino for setting a new Retro Pals record. <laughs> this is a game where you shoot CDs, as far as I know. Also known as Revolution X. Domino. Yeah, and it's true. It would they would have more games in the Netherlands due to that's where like Philips is located and Eagle Vision. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> an eagle sound. That's a very good eagle sound. Do eagles even have good vision? You know, I, I, I'm no ornithologist. I, I have no say in eagles. Wow. Wow. Those Look at this games. title screen. It defaults to the Netherlands, of course. Of course. This is another game I got direct from the Netherlands from uh, a guy on eBay named Darkman NL. He is the biggest source of Netherlands-based CDI games shipped around the world, as far as I know. So shout outs to Darkman. Thank Let's you, play Dark in English. Man. Do you think that's just Darkman's nether, uh, Darkman's, like, Dutch, uh, brother or something? It's the netherworld Darkman, yeah. Okay. Oh, we get a choice of a bunch of different controllers. Here's the one I want. This is a <sighs> big-ass kids controller I with a giant that. ball that you roll. Mm. I used to use this when they were, uh, displaying the CDI at Bjorn's, the, uh, high-end electronic store in, uh, San Antonio. It was really cool. Uh, maybe it's probably not as big as I thought when I was a kid, but I'd still want one. Anyway, we just have a regular old controller. What is this thing on the left? That's a this mouse? I mean, like, left from oh, here. Oh, oh, I think... Uh, uh, that is a funky lamp. I actually think that's the thing that show, throws, like, those clay... Oh, right, shoot. the launcher. Okay. Yeah. Or or maybe it's just a fucked up lamp. Explain CD Shoot to me. What is CD Shoot? Choose your language. Got it. Done. Indicate which control instrument you are using. <laughs> Done. I had to do so, all that to get here. This is so piecemeal. Now you see the main menu. <laughs> Game. Oh my Choose God. the level at which you... Look, okay. I was gonna say, don't talk down to me, man. Well, we have four okay. different types of shooting. We have sports shooting, Olympic trap... Ball trap and English skeet. English skeet. Which do you think we should do? I almost want English skeet. It's a classic. Skeet, let's skeet, skeet. let's go with English skeet. English skeet. <laughs> Not ball trap. English skeet. All right. How do they do things in merry old England? Do you think? Ball. Got it. Nice. Bull. Oh, hold on. There we go. They fly around like UFOs. <laughs> Bull. Oh, here comes a copy of Domino. Oh, escape from Cyber City. Got him. Those games will never harm us again. You're just shooting the lips off a cockroach here. Here comes Bull. a facer. 
There, there's your punishment. <laughs> Bull! This, uh, this is it, huh? Note that in the menu, they did not indicate Bull. that a light gun was one of the selectable controllers. Did this system have a light gun? It did. Oh. Several games were compatible. Bull. This is not one of them. <laughs> Alright, info from Bad Game Hall of Fame, who's played this before. Uh, we Bull. actually lucked into the easiest game within the game, apparently. Uh, the other ones do not give you any time to shoot the uh, target. Some oh, of them wow. give you like a fraction of a second Bull. to hit them, so... Ew. Let's hear it for English Skeet. Hey. Let's let's result. Oh. <laughs> yep. I shot all the things. You sh you, you, you Duck hunt this is not. <laughs> you skeeted it up. No, I wanna No, we're done. No, we don't Let me let me go. We're done. Yeah. Okay, I wanna I wanna go hardcore. Let's go with ball trap. I know some of you are into this. You're very excited to see this. So let's show it to you. Oh, it shoots him off into the distance. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, uh, fling me a, a Dennis Miller's Bull. That's News to Me. Handicap protesters. <laughs> Take that, Dennis Miller. <laughs> Bull. So yeah, Philips CDI games, many of them are interactive multimedia experiences with lots of voice samples, uh, still images, video, audio, and some of them are this, and some of them are Domino. Bull. And some of them are Effacer, which is just... Effacer seems downright fleshed out and well thought out compared to <laughs> CD Shoot. <laughs> Bull. I feel dumber after playing this game. You know what? We should smarten ourselves up. Okay. We uh, Twitch demanded that we include at least a little bit of educational content with okay. each stream. Uh, some kind of government thing. Mm -hmm. So I say, let's head to Florence, Italy, and experience the Renaissance of Florence. Oh, that sounds so good! Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I, you know me, I love art. I, well, well I, playing the Maplethorpe game. I do like the like flowers this. of Robert Maplethorpe, mm -hmm. and I'm curious to see how this lives up to the, uh, the standard set by Mr. Maplethorpe. Okay. Where the shit is it? There it is. <laughs> I was going to say, I know it's there because I saw it earlier. There's another one imported from the Netherlands, but I think it's in English. Comes in a really funky CD case. That's a pretty funky CD case, Garfield. A lot of them are vertically oriented for some reason. Like they have the spines on the yeah, side. Yeah, I noticed that. They're weird. They're really weird. They party hard in the Netherlands. Mm. All right, everyone, sit down and get ready to learn. All right, what are we learning? How to shoot. I, please don't shoot the artwork of Florence. No. I do not want to get banned from Italy before I've had a chance to go there. Ah, <laughs> oh, rip to my favorite messaging service. <laughs> I had to use AIM for my job. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was an AOL company. Travel back in time to Florence. There we shall hear the birds sing. Oh, it's narrated. We shall see fresh green hills and fields of corn undulating like the sea. Ooh. What? With these words, the Italian writer Boccaccio begins his famous Guys like, novel, I just like Cameron, corn. written in the hills of Tuscany in the year 1350. Something extraordinary was happening in these Tuscan fields. In less than three generations, this gentle landscape would spawn a generation of artists, writers, and architects. Wow, they just grew from the ground the like corn. <laughs> the dogmatic traditions of the Middle Ages, in force for over a thousand years, were coming to an end. Oh, Jesus' feet look weird. Oh, he's got weird toes. Oh, I don't like thinking about Jesus' toes. Let's move on. That guy's looking at Jesus' feet. To recapture the <laughs> Dude, legacy of ancient no. Greece and Rome. But for the floor. <laughs> no. Hey, babe, watch this. <laughs> for individual achievement. Oh, I know that statue. We are fortunate to have an actual witness to these heady and exciting times. His name is Giorgio Vasari, who in the mid 16th century wrote the first biography of I am uncultured, I'm sorry. We're very, I am it too. It is undeniably true that if the artists of our own time were justly rewarded, they would produce even greater works of art. 
Hey! 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 Words. Really? And Stop it! From artists like Alex, Nicomagio. get the... Yeah. Okay, okay, so you show the full Once thing after you zoom in on the dick. Fine. Era of the Renaissance. <laughs> it's, it's classical art. It's allowed. Well, luckily, that'll be the... Hopefully, that's, like, the only one they show. It's gonna be the auto-generated thumbnail. <laughs> Welcome to the Renaissance of Florence, here on Masterpiece Theater. Yeah, I censored the finger touching because no social. We only support social distancing here. That's yeah. forbidden. Uh, one Piazza Grande, please, mm -hmm. <laughs> with extra mushrooms. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a mockery of the arts. Yeah, we like art. We yeah, are... art's cool. You're cool. I own several discs worth of art, CDI discs. Okay, where are we headed? I think we want to go in that big building in the middle. <laughs> the uh, Pizza Grande, as they call it. Mm. like that we can skip directly to the epilogue. We got paintings. Mm -hmm. Got architecture. We have sculpture, or skvlup, as this calls it. Skvlup. Let's go to sculpture. Okay. <laughs> Hey! It was hey! An old dream. You're really gonna go to war butt naked? The great tradition of classical art. Is this how it they did it? It was a dream that was shared early on in the 13th Just century. Just a sword and a shield and nothing else? By the sculptor Andrea Pisano and the painter Giotto di Bondone. Andrea Pisano and his son mm -hmm. Giovanni okay. were the first to study Roman reliefs on tombs and sarcophagi. Yeah, Maplethorpe would approve. Mm -hmm. And so... The first glimpse of classical art would appear on church pulpits made by Pisano in Pisa and Siena. Mmm, pizza. Sounds good. The turning point came in 1402. Oh. In that year, the Wool Guild announced a competition, itself a novel idea, to select a sculptor for the new doors of the San Giovanni. No Back one was paid, it was all on spec. The, heart mm -hmm. of Florence. the subject of the competition was the sacrifice of Isaac, and some months later, the guild found itself in a tie between two submissions, one by Ghiberti and one designed by Brunelleschi. Oh, that one sucks. Abraham looked like a Roman philosopher, mm -hmm. while Isaac shone like a young god. Hey! Of all, Alex, there's no too many wieners in this. Yeah, what, what, Danny, why did you choose the pervert that game? <laughs> I don't know. Roman sculpture Art's for perverts. What's wrong with art? And a consistent guide for generations of sculptors to this come. This is people choking other people with their a dicks out. <laughs> this is Tenfo filth. This is, next that's step. it. This is, this is, this actually is. Create a free Please don't ban us. It's okay. It's... statue of a man in the classical manner. <laughs> they had to cover up Donatello his dick with a shield. Was far ahead of his time. <laughs> But a generation later, Florence would witness the rise of a school of sculptors who blended the elegance of Pisano and Ghiberti with the physical force of Donatello. Mm -hmm. They included Luca della Robbia, who developed. Really, you're not new showing Jesus' dick here. God. <laughs> Glad you showed some restraint. Yeah, every art museum I went to, the, the dicks were very carefully um, shipped Orsani off Kent. because they were respectable. <laughs> if you go to the Getty, there's just they no meters to be seen. <laughs> it's very, very polite. Well, and you know fine. what? The tower. Huh? There's like half an hour of narration of here. Michelangelo da Buonarroti. We are talking about Donatello, Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. Leonardo and Raphael, uh -huh. the uh, Ninja Turtles of the artist world. Hey, God! This is filth. This is, I'm stop sorry, showing everyone. the penis game, Danny. Just, I'm done with penis that's, game. That's, that's just filthy. Yeah, we're done. Let's forget that ever happened. Let's All move right. on to true art. Okay, what's the next? The art of Japanimation. Let's play an old favorite, Escape from Cyber City. What? Huh? Oh, right. I meant to do a segue. <laughs> oh, we were gonna do. <laughs> meant to do a segue to something else. Can I just show? I mentioned it? I mentioned our friend Darkman in the L before, and I was happened I happened to be browsing his store today. This is actually true. This is true. No jokes here. And just I thought we would have educational content with the art of Florence, Italy. Instead, all I saw was filth. Mm -hmm. Just nothing but genitals. So looking at uh, Darkman's store today, I've decided to buy another game. A game about nutrition, I think? Yeah, this, yeah. This is what it is. 
See, she's she's drinking the um, she's she, it shows you the benefits uh-huh. of drinking citrus fruit. Just and squeezing it right it into starts your mouth. Feral lime and Jane Waters. Lime and water are two things you need to not die. This from plays scurvy. on this plays on CDI formats. Mm-hmm. I'm really looking forward to it. I ordered a copy, and I'm really looking forward to streaming this and not that horrible filth that comes out of Italy. Yeah, yeah, just some nice, clean Chuggla Girls three. Anyway, here's the anime game. Oh. I'm all out of sorts today. <laughs> okay, can I, can I, I just wanted to say, uh, to remind Danny of the segue, I didn't want to say it out loud, so I started doing a very obscene motion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of, 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 of the t- It worked. It got the message across. <laughs> it sure did. I was chuggalugging myself here, and then Danny's like, oh. Oh. We can, uh, we can all stand to learn about nutrition. Vitamin C, <laughs> it's crucial. Not like those dick pics. Anyway, this is a game we played before. A fan favorite. Oh, I love this game. Escape from Cyber City, based on Galaxy Express 3.9. This was based on a canceled arcade game called, uh, what was it called? Galaxy Ranger, something like that? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, if y'all know. That game was never released, but an extremely cut down, fucked up version was released for CDI. Uh, this is notably one of the most difficult CDI games I've ever played. Freedom Fighters! Freedom yes, Fighters, that's you, what it's Smell. called. Thank, thank you. you. And each time, I think I get a little bit further. Let's see. Let's put our skills to the test All and right. try to forget what we just saw. I'm still a rookie. I'm still never going to pick any other difficulty other than rookie. It's just me and the Chuggalug girls. Three. <laughs> Here, this will shoot the lips off a cockroach. Now, get to the train and blow the Guardian's lights out. Got it. Okay, go on the train. It's called practice skip. You need to turn to the right here. Oh well, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the last human. That's the last photo we've ever seen of him. This is oddly wirehead like since we've uh, we played that recently. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting him. What the fuck, dude? I'm a pro. Holy shit! Oh, didn't get that one. Ah, damn. Kid wiped out. <laughs> oh, grenade shatters hopes. Grenade shatters hopes and shatters kid. Oh, the controls for this are so bad. You got grease. There's some extreme acceleration on the uh, the mouse movement. I keep meaning to pick up a mouse, but man, inputs controllers for CDI have gotten real expensive lately. I like that it can play music or sound effects, but not both. Mm-hmm. Very Amiga. Nope, missed. No, oh, grenaded! I got grenaded. Let's take that path one more time, then we'll try a different path next time. Alright. I say this every time I play this, but you hardcore gamers out there, you people who crave difficulty, who uh, beat Dark Souls unarmed, completely naked, like the uh, the sculptures of ancient Italy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to play this game, this is a real challenge. <laughs> Maybe put on a pair of underwear while you play. You yeah, know? I mean, I just don't see the sense of going to war buck naked. Not even any pants. I mean... Not a nice robe. Maybe the enemies will see how sexy you are and they won't want to kill you. And they'll just lay down their arms. I guess that was the thinking. They'll lay down their arms and whip out their dicks. The Italians know how to party. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is our second and last attempt. There is an alternate path I'm going to try and explore. All right. I think we shoot the thing behind these guys? Oh, I accidentally shot one. Nice shooting, dead eye. Time to go to jail. Sometimes you break out. And sometimes you just rot in jail. It made rots, it's all over. <laughs> I still don't know what triggers the escape. I know here, to go on to a next scene, you have to shoot the vehicle behind them to make it explode. Nice. Yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna head over here. Oh, this freaking part. You gotta shoot... You have to shoot the vehicle and then dodge using the reticle, so I have to dodge to the right. Oh, that sucks. This is super freaking difficult.
No, no. Okay, I did it. Holy shit, good job. You're the dirt bag. Holy shit, they... Got him. How? That was not fair. <laughs> I Door prize! This... Kid I... wins one-way ticket! <laughs> to hell. I thought I won that one. Man. Seriously, the most challenging game I have ever played. All you uh, one credit clear enthusiasts, I challenge you to play this. Surrender, dirtbag. Okay, now it's the center, and then maybe the left. Got him. Maybe the right. These doors they don't look too scary enough to not. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this the furthest I've ever gotten? Hmm. I'm doing it. Holy shit, Danny! I'm gonna beat this game. You need to twist your ankle more often to make you a good gamer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is the ultimate uh, Dark Souls challenge run. Okay, Walker always hit. Always look both ways, man. Ah, uh, let's try this way. I guess that was a dead end. I did all that effort just to end up at a dead end. Oh, now this part is impossible. This part sucks. Because occasionally there's gonna be dudes who pop out, and you need to shoot them and then dodge. It's literally impossible, which is why I'm just going to do the other one again. Alright. Maybe if you had the mouse, that might let you actually put the cursor where you want it, instead of just approximating where it might be useful. Okay. How you're surviving this, I don't know. I don't either, I didn't practice this. Okay, I'm confirming that there's nothing that happens here. Do I get to go in there? Nope, it just makes you repeat that whole scene. Okay, we've, we've learned valuable information this time around. That path is just an endless loop. You have to do the impossible path. And a radical ride, baby. And that's Escape from Cyber City. Pretty sure that's a new high score. It has to be. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone, feel free to beat that. 127,500 points. Tough luck, Earthling. Tough luck. I'm happy with that. That's I, I didn't expect to get anywhere. Maybe when we play this again eight months from now, I'll get a little bit further. <laughs> uh, I, I foresee beating this by the year 2032. All right, folks, uh, tune in and... I can't count how many years that is. A lot of years. <laughs> At least a hundred years. Okay, a hundred years from now. We got it. So I buttered y'all up with a game that you like, your favorite. A nice uh, a nice uh, bit of video gaming comfort food, if you will. Mm -mm. I do this because the next two games are going to be some of the dankest things we've ever played. Like, to the point where I don't know if they're going to be amusing or just intolerable. We're going to play... A couple of exclusive minigame compilations released in the Netherlands. Let's start with Family Games 1. You like family games? Yeah! I love when the family comes together, like you gather around the good stuff, the good stuff being the CDI, not pizza, and you just breathe in the, pizza. the fun. Or the pizza too, yeah. I don't know about these games, y'all. <laughs> I did a very brief testing, and all I could think was, oh no. Oh no, is all I thought about these games. Everyone's favorite developer. What, what have they made? Okay, we've got a uh, full attack. Huh. Huh. Are those fake Chinese letters? They the, are! The, what the f- The middle one is real, but the left one looks fake to me. What the hell? <laughs> Where is that sound? Skid cart. Captain Alphabet. Draw stamp color. Morphon Invasion. Wizard. Wizard! Hot Rocks. Ooh, I love credits. Let's get started. We're going right. to play every single one of these family games. All right, we're being informed this game has to be fake. <laughs> it sure looks like that. No, I own a real physical copy of this, along with all the games we played tonight. Fun fact. Haven't burned a single one. All these games are taking up space on Alex's media rack. 
You know me, I'm just a rookie. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, baby! Oh, baby plane. Uh. Um. Oh, I have laser. What? Oh, uh huh? Button 2 pauses the game, but it makes you wait to load the pause screen. <laughs> That's a great sign. I uh, like the background. I think it looks really different. That's cool. I you giving me the finger? Damn. Yeah. This is absolutely, this is some dank jank. Absolutely. This is some real dank shit. Y'all don't even know. Uh, for those who aren't aware, this is the cancelled Fantasy Zone sequel that Sega canned. This is going to be Fantasy Zone 3. They decided to pass for some reason. I know a lot of you are Shmups fans. You and your R-types, your Gradiuses. Well, what about whatever this game is called? Uh, it looks like it's... Yeah! Yeah, I am getting a clip art vibe from this one. Oh, I thought that was a pickup. Was it was an enemy? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. I'm just a tiny rookie. Family Consumer says this might be the actual best CDI shmup. You know? Maybe. Uh, have you played Tetsuo Gaiden? <laughs> Not pronounced Gaiden. The game pronounces it Gaiden. Yeah, Arnold Rimmer, I am getting a uh, big Action 52 vibe from this as well. This is much better drawn than Action 52. That, yeah, for sure, for sure. So I'm get the, the melting alien in the background there. You get the one weapon, no power-ups. There was a similar CDI game that was cancelled. That was one where you skim along the face of a planet. I can't remember the name of it. But there are shooters on this system. People did let shooters happen on CDI. Alright, Smell mentions that there was an unreleased, unfinished uh, shmup for CDI called Space Ranger. That's the one. That it looked much better than this. It did. <laughs> That's the thing. The unreleased game looked way better than this. Yeah, nothing is shooting back, so I guess you don't really need power-ups? I am playing on rookie level. Hey, there's a, there's apparently a version of Galaga and Galaxian on this uh, on the CD. I mm -hmm. haven't seen them. If they oh. that's part of the arcade classic series. Ah, we can play those too. But why why would we want to play those when we can play uh what is it called full attack? Full what? frontal nudity is what it's called. Full frontal nudity. It's called Chugalug Shmup Three. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy when I found that auction today. <laughs> You were really no. I thought. I that thought was... about buying it. Oh, what shit. would we do with? Ch <laughs> yeah, probably not a lot we can do with Chugalug girls. Three. Three. You gonna start me over? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, there are plenty of other games on this disc we yeah. should get around to. That's a, that's a tantalizing start. What a game! Full attack. Not half attack. Uh, let's go with what this is. This is unexplored territory for me, too, by the way. So, yeah. I only tested out this game to make sure the menus and everything worked. The Adventures of Jokisen. Please don't be racist. Please, we're tired. You know, we could be getting this CDI game, Danny. Bugs Bunny. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. All right, thank you very much to SSFSX17 for the seven, uh, 10 month resub. Miss Red, 10 month resub. Uh, totally a real, real Japanese word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Thank you. What is this? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now, this. This is a video game. This is. This is... Anyone play uh, Yoda stories? <laughs> That's what oh this reminds God. me of. Or Indiana Jones's Desktop Adventures. Yeah, I'm getting real shareware vibes from this, too, yeah. Yeah, for real. Only it was printed on a disc and sold. Can I shoot? No? Are I you just setting down a ninja? <laughs> I love that stock sound effect. Yeah, 250 bits from Ultimo, who says, Sex, surprise me! It's me every day, baby. <laughs> I love, 
That was the best part of that game. I hope you've enjoyed the surprise gender we've chosen for you. The no music in this is really getting to me. It's... A silent journey mm -hmm. of um, a single samurai? I don't fucking know. What is your what is what is your objective even here? A gun. Look out! He's got a gun. Oh my god! Samurai gun. I'm out of bullets. <laughs> I didn't know well, I had limited bullets. Maybe you didn't want to do that. Maybe, maybe people in the Netherlands have a different definition for what for what Excuse video games me. are. Maybe this makes total sense if you uh, command the Dutch language. Getting sick of this guy. Just trying to navigate a maze, for Christ's sake. Gotta get my fruits. What if this goes on forever? I... It will. I assume. I assume it's a never-ending game to, uh, torture us. You like that death scream. The never-ending story, the video game. Okay, this was a... Spawned on Trough, are you being for real? Was this on Big Blue Disc issue 41? Because I am getting that... If you told me that, I would believe you. I get that vibe from... Okay. No, but I, I get that vibe from it, though. This definitely has a... I killed the ninja. I'm going to consider that a success. You did it! I don't think playing any more of this is going to yield fruit. Even though I do collect fruit. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, all over the shelves. They're rotting. It smells. Let's move on. Yeah. Oh, these are actual phrases. That's uh, Yameru. They did a little bit of research. Good for them. Yamaru, rather. Where's that sound? I was... haven't seen you before the stream. Alex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Me too. You were there. You saw the whole thing. Okay. Is this just match? Hmm. Okay. Clanged. Oh no. Matched. <laughs> An unloaded gun is being shot at us. What's he building in there? Oh, this one I can do. All right, you got this, baby. Vroom. Clunk. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, it's this one. Nice clunk. Oh, I know that one. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna beat one of the family games. Holy shit, Danny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where was the clunk? It was like right here, right? No, different clunk. That's the, uh... Dinner bell clunk. Alright. Okay. You got this. You got this. <laughs> yes. What's our reward? This better be good. Here it comes. Are you ready? You ready for your reward? It's more game! Hey! You yeah, can't just right to use that. You can't just put that in your game. <laughs> this is all just. <laughs> hey, butthead. Favorite Looney Tunes, Beavis and Butthead. I don't. <laughs> I think. Oh 
my I'm God. pretty sure pretty sure Beavis was the last thing I expected to hear in this game, but Oh my god. God bless the developers for oh. taping the things they did off of Dutch TV. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. That's why we do this. That's why we're excavating the CDI's weirdest games. This is why we game. Hey butthead. I don't like the name of Skid Cart. Basically the same as Road Rash. I mean, you gotta see a doctor if you've got that. Okay. I what like a title screen. It's made out of balloons. <laughs> Must be made by that business clown. <laughs> oh, here we go. The arcade classic. Why are you collecting Cheerios? Rally Z. Is this like... It's like Micro Machines? It's like it's like Rally X, only you collect donuts. And there's only one car after you. I know there's some Rally X dislikers in chat. You can tell me if this is better or not than uh, Namco's classic game. It just makes me want Cheerios. How about a nice, delicious can of gasoline? I mean... That's for I, cars. Okay, yeah, that's that's the car equivalent of Cheerios. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? Did we... I died. You won! You're the race ace! I won! I love you ran out of time? Okay, I didn't even see the time. Oh, mark. I see. That makes sense. Alright, uh, Izzy says this chat is anti Rally X and pro Bosconian, and that is that. <laughs> Got it. Fair enough. Bosconian's mm -hmm. a damn fine game. New Rally X, though. <laughs> wow! I'm all in. I'm all in on Captain Alphabet. Some more good faces here. I guess we have to choose a character. I'm gonna be the Muppet Mobster. Okay, I like him. Is he about to walk the plank? Is this... Is this Hangman? The CDI, the platform of choice for Hangman aficionados. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Could you? Please? You know, Such I hear a click and play aesthetic. I hear here. copyright doesn't exist in the Netherlands. <laughs> okay, we might save this guy after all. Go ahead. Make my CDI. Stop. Uh, hmm. Rastan? You know, I wish it was Bastard, but I don't think that's it. Oh, maybe. Well? Oh, I mean, no. there's only one A, yeah, so. That's true. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Custard, actually. Let's do it. Custard. Go ahead. Not Custard. Oh, shit. Not Bastard. Mustard. Mustard. Thank you, the opponent. Yeah, you yeah. saved you saved a man's life today. You did a very good thing. Thank you. <laughs> Could have gone without the wet chewing sounds. I didn't but, like uh, that noise. But uh, you got to take what you can get. Whew. What if I died? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glad it lets Go you select ahead. the same letter over and over again. Go ahead. I think you're gonna die, dude. Go ahead. Oh, come on! You should be dead by now. <laughs> Napkin! Oh. oh! Oh, it wasn't. Ah! Okay. Alright. My brain has taken on the, uh,. It's basically melted cheese by now. Okay. Let's draw a stamp color. That seems about our speed. Gay rats, gay rats, gay rats. It's this, I think it's literally just a coloring book. Are there any, are, there better be some rats. Oh yeah, look at this. <gasps> I can, <laughs> one I thumbs can down. say thumbs down? Buttons, two thumbs up. 
What does that mean? Hey. Copyright. It's okay. It's a random bear. You don't know who this bear is who likes honey. Uh, yeah, it's, uh... It's hot dog bear. I'm trying mustard. <laughs> you put the mustard from the pirates. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who else we got here? Uh. All right. Fill in the details yourself, I guess. I like that thoughtful bird. <laughs> now hold on there. <laughs> Who is this? I got quite a deal on this Fabergé egg. Oh, Don't I ask like how I laid it. It was very painful. <laughs> Oh, it's it's human Shrek. We won't buy Fabergé egg. I love human Shrek. You're being banned. I I don't I don't like the look between them. I'm getting hmm. It's Take just that a, to Chuckalog Bees three. This is just a still from the B movie. Wow. What Powerful. is that? Who is that? That is a centaur with wings. It's an arms and a mermaid a tail. tail. It's a it's a mermaid Pegasus centaur. Yeah, that is someone's OC. He's beautiful. They're beautiful. I like it. Nah, we're we're going with that. It's good. Oh, dinosaurs. Oh, they built their own little castle. Wings? They're dragons, aren't they? They got wings. Oh, okay. Why is there the nude horny fairy? Why is she promoting marijuana? <laughs> Listen, it's 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 the Netherlands. You know, she's from Amsterdam. Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, yeah. I, it's hard to parse what this is. Um, um, are they, are they dating? Are they, are this like love at first sight? That guy's watching him. Uh, I don't know about that guy. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Business clowns are nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't take regular clowns anymore. Yeah, you should. You have to go to clown college and real college. That's a... This has been a real chaotic stream tonight. This is, this is a very this is this is a very chaos day for us. So, dude, like, let me. Okay, good. Super slide. What do you think this is? I, I... bet it's your favorite game. Mm hmm. Look at that. Alex is giving a big ol' thumbs down. Let's challenge. Let's never challenge. One minute. That's all we need. Yeah, we're good. We can solve anything in a minute. There we go. I'm ready. All right. Is that London Bridge? There. Finished. Nice. Ah! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you got a no. minute. It's okay. You okay. got a minute to we do, can this. do this. You got this. You got this. You have this. This okay. is all okay. you, baby. The tower was up here. Oh, God. The two tower pieces are misaligned. It's okay. No, gotta... it's okay. You okay. Got this. Stack one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. There's some spires up here or something. Mm -hmm. uh, the water probably goes at the bottom. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm going to make an effort to put that down here. Uh oh. Oh, boy. It's all right. You got this. You got 20, 25 seconds left. That's more than enough time. Mm-hmm. And just like that, merry old London is put back together. Londoners, you're welcome. Looks great. This is London, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm I'm assuming so. Yeah, this... There we go. Done. Done in 64 moves with Amazing. seconds to spare. Ready for what? We already did it. Okay, no, enough with the... Quit clowning on me! <laughs> oh, Christ. What's with the frickin' clowns, Netherlands? Y'all. It's the clown console. Let's see. I guess we finally have a tagline for CDI. CDI, the console for clowns. That just has clowns on it. Why? Yeah, Clown Disc Interactive, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. Why? Please, I'm sick of Pagliacci. Take him away. But doctor, I am a nightmare clown. All right. 
Oh, it's one of these games. It's just a shooting gallery. The evil clown faces are dropping... Buckets, uh... Buckets, pies. tomatoes, and other clown heads on you. Hmm. That seems alright. I could do without the border. I... It's fine. You, you don't like night... You, you, you have something against nightmare clowns uh, menacing you? Okay, all you arcade fans out there, here's my pitch. Satan's Hollow, but with clowns. Clown Hollow. I, I have a pitch for you. Uh-huh. Uh, don't do that. Okay. Don't, don't, don't do that, <laughs> audience. Fair enough. We got two more games. Let's start with Wizard. Oh, animation. Wow. One frame per second. Literally. Somewhere, just an hourglass twist ago, a fair maiden and knight were happily in love. Until a wizard promised the young knight power and wealth in exchange for the maiden's hand. People were ugly back then. The knight mm -hmm. refused, and the angry wizard took away the princess. To regain his beloved, he must now face the wizard in a duel of dragon and ball. Oh, he's cute! Oh, that's me! Alright, get ready to deal with the dragon balls. Easy, please. Now, what kind of challenge can we expect? Oh. It's it's Pong. It's just Pong. Pong and a snare drum. It's like Pong and Breakout. You know, I hear the Amico has a game like this. <laughs> Y'all excited for the Amico? If if they're listening, absolutely yes. I want them to send me a free one. Now, supposedly the console is built on family games, right? Mm hmm So, I got a game you can port right hey, here. Hey, hey, hey! Ten games in one. All for the family. The whole fam family. Get in touch, Tommy. Yeah. Here, here, uh, and definitely send us a free one. Thank you. Yeah, that's the most important part. That's very important. I mean, we're retro streamers. Hey, we uh, we um, we have other qualifications probably. So I'll, think about I'll it. stream literally anything. I mean, just look <laughs> at me. Yeah. I just I want to win one. Yeah, you gotta hit it at a sharp angle. Uh. uh did you... <laughs> you won somehow! I did. I feel like, like one of those Chad memes. Well, that's enough of that. Final game, Hot Rocks. Y'all wanna play some Hot Rocks? I do. I like Hot Rock with less talk on my morning drive, thank you. Thank you for the you did it. I feel like I've earned it. Alright, what game do you think this is? Asteroids? Possibly. Hot Rocks Patrol. I do like that Hot Rocks logo. It looks like, again, a 90s rock station. So. Oh, I'm freaking ready. Yeah, you got this. Let's shoot some Hot Rocks. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Uh huh. This looks kind of boring. I've been playing this for five seconds. You okay, have, you have no right to judge. You're right. I don't. I don't. I need to be open-minded. Give, it, and give it 15 more seconds, then okay. you'll see. Well, how hot are the rocks? Pretty hot. Let's let one hit me and see how hot it is. Sorry. All I can think of was Chuggalug rocks. <laughs> Ouch. 
Wow. And that's the final game on Family Games. A collection of video games for the Philips CDI. Let's look at the credits. Alright. Oh, you look around you! Hang on, this changes everything. Okay. I'm gonna protect Earth. Thanks Just kidding. Ah! Oh. Take that, assholes. Fucking wreck. We're out of here. Let's go. Let's see what the credits look like and then we'll move on. Yeah, get out of it, hot rocks. I want cold rocks, thank you. I expected at least a rock soundtrack. I guess that was too much to expect from these people. Mm-hmm. These are the last names I expected to see. Lots of multiple O's and mm -hmm. D's and J's and K's. Lots of vowels, baby. Thank you, interactive sound artist. You should have probably not... Special thanks to Mike Judge for lending us the, uh, <laughs> the Beavis and Butthead samples. Oh, we can't reproduce this. I see how it is. Oh, okay. You can just steal shit from Looney Tunes and Beavis and Butthead, and it's just fine, because you're in the Netherlands. Danny, please don't get the, the Retro Pals into an international incident. It's too late. I don't have any armor. I'm like those soldiers. I have to go out and... <laughs> oh, no. It's not fair. That's really inconvenient. Mm -hmm. Well... I got a nice surprise for y'all. I know you were a big fan of that game, and you noticed that the title said Family Games 1. You may be wondering if I have the sequel. I do have the sequel. We're going to play it right now. Family Games 2! Family Games 2! <laughs> I am fist pumping, I am... Check I it am... out, the disc looks like a disgusting pizza. <laughs> Oh, that looks awful! Oh! It looks like pizza they put spaghetti on and then like some fish with googly eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now it's going in my CDI. Oh, great! Ooh, squishing noise. Give me pizza! That sounds so good. P-I-C-Z-A? This uses the digital video card! Oh, shit! Wait a minute! <laughs> Alright, well, they're, they're stepping things up for this one. We're gonna see some live action video, some animation. Is that animation. how you know it uses digital video card as a different yeah, intro? Yeah, it okay. does that special intro for games that use the uh, DVC. Philips presents uh -huh. a Dima production. Was this Seinfeld? <laughs> Introducing Buzz Off. I've got it. I'm out. Bruce Tight, Pamela Bankrupt. Todd. I don't know okay. what to think about that name. Uh-huh. With their co-stars. Snotto Slimex. That's me when I'm sick. Orson Weissmuller. Bungie Freefall. Firm Butt Aardvark. Yo! That's my persona! Helmet <laughs> that's Von... That's me! Helmet Von Applestrudel. Oh. oh my god. Oh, Firm Butt... Elfish. Aardvark. Paul Beetle, George Beetle, ah, you get it. Ah. Along with John Beetle and Ringo Beetle. Hilarious. Where's, where's Pete Best Beetle? You don't think that Firm Butt Heart Artvark is a fake name? You think that's a fake name? Tim Bear Trademark and Mario Antipasta. <laughs> and Luigi Lasagna. Mario and Luigi. The Mario you? Brothers are here. In. Uh, anyone get all that? Yeah. At least they've dialed up the presentation? Okay, so instead of a menu, they plop you down in the middle of a sleazy di diner. Where... Who's that tiny guy who's shooting guns on your... You I'm confused. you what the fuck is going on? I'll, I'm just gonna order. You got any sides? You got some, some french fries, some onion rings? Food, I'm not hungry please. enough for a full meal. <laughs> super exploding pizza too. <laughs> the new ingredients. I prefer super turbo. Okay, this this does look a bit nicer art wise. They put more effort into this one, yeah. But we have to see how the games are. Okay. I have to listen to this. Oh my god, really? Yeah.
Wait, was Pink there back there in the bar? I gotta see that. Let me play the... Let Please me... let us play Super Exploding Pizza 2, the new ingredients. Come on. Please. I just... <laughs> Moving along to the next verse. Don't give a fuck about you playing the game. Pizza. Please let us play Super Exploding Pizza 2, the new ingredients. It's just gonna loop the song again. Maybe there is no game. Maybe it's just... No, I played this last night. <laughs> it didn't what? do this. Are we cursed to God? Concern it. Doggone it. I'm blaming the... I'm blaming the, the nasty men of Florence for this. Mm -hmm. Y'all just can't even keep it in your pants. You don't even have pants to keep it in. Get pants, God. Yeah, we went into the pizza loop. We've seen it. Where's this animation? I was promised high quality digital video card animation. Maybe we should talk to the penguin. CDI is making an angry noise right now. Please don't. This is a PAL format game. It's not supposed to play this. Oh, here we go. There's blood? Look at that on the on the counter. Oh, holy shit! He's bleeding out. Hey, can someone? See <laughs> wow! I don't know about this one. I don't know about this game. Let's play it. <laughs> <laughs> the Gates Motel, huh? It's time for Mama's Coco. But she locked herself in, so you better find her in time. Okay. Coco is spelled with an A. In there, it's, it's, it's Dutch. You don't, you don't gotta sweat it. Norman Bates wouldn't last a second in a facer. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, there's a problem. What? Up moves you down. Down also moves you down. <laughs> okay. Do you think it maybe is mad about this pal game? I think it's real mad. Oh, look at the graphical corruption. No, yeah, it's real mad. There's the right. top and the bottom. Got another cursed stream tonight, so that's good. Fantastic. Let's, uh, let's randomly adjust the switches on my controller. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, I managed to swap left and right. That's, uh, that's a start. Um, okay, left and right work, but up does not work. Okay, good, good. Uh, and now, uh, left and right are swapped again. Those are all the different switch positions. Sweet! Alright, uh, so... Well, this is broken. Cool. Imagine family games, but you don't actually get to play the games. Yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> Eat shit, penguin. Olay olay. I I kind of wish that worked. It looked, I mean, not great, but kind of normal. Cool title screen, anyway. Room service olay olay. That's that's normal. Let's continue our search for a working video game. Can I click the TV? I'm just glad that we're expanding our horizons. We're exploring D Dutch culture. We've seen the filthy art of Florence, Italy. We've seen credits? the we've seen the equally filthy art of of uh, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just credits. Oh, was it going to take me back to the menu? It had a different name. It wasn't called Family Games. It was called Junk Food, whatever. Really? Drive. Yeah, it was called. It was a different name there. That's yeah, the cover says Family Games too. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, let's try again. Maybe after we reset it, it'll work better. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, ah, oh, phew, well. So Junk cursed. food jive, that's what it was called. Okay, mm. that's wild. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, it's called Family Games 2, Junk Food Jive. Ah, it's a subtitle, I see. I see. Well, I'm not updating the screen at all. Man, it's even documented on Moby Games. That's actually kind of surprising how obscure this is. How about, can we click the lady?
What kind of game is she going to serve up? Check, please. What? <laughs> okay. Is this how they do in the Netherlands? I, uh... I, I just ask, hey, you want to split this? <laughs> does, does anything... <laughs> Going Dutch, Mortal Pong. What do you think this is? You know, I think this might be... <laughs> There we go. Fight! Oh, look at that blood. Ah, jeez. Well, this... I will say this about this game. It seems to work. It's the first playable one. I'll take what I can get. I don't know why they needed to go at each other's throats like that, but... I mean, I guess they were upset about splitting the bill. No matter what happens tonight, I'm confident that all of you have seen games that you will never see on any other stream. <laughs> or at least I hope to God that's the case, because I hope no one else ever has to stream these and no suffer one... through them. <laughs> No one deserves this. Not no. even the criminals of a facer. Like, we've played thousands of weird, mind-numbing video games. We're prepared for this. Mm -hmm. The average streamer is not. Oh, I wonder if I get fatality if I lose. <laughs> Let's find out. I appreciate they tried to parody modern video games. That's neat. That's not something you see saw very often. That's me. Shit, That's me playing the CDI. <laughs> it's fucking... God. God, I can't even think of a joke. I'm just like, Jesus, this game, this whole... This whole system is cursed. Mm -hmm. The deeper you dive, the weirder it gets. And guess what? There's no bottom. You just keep on digging. I could stream the system for ten years and still find incredibly bizarre games no one's ever heard of. I guess they both do the same thing. Looks like there's only one game left and it's that fly guy. Yeah, they couldn't even call it mar marital combat. Yeah! He put that gun in his butt. Hey, I'm not here to shame anybody. The buzz bunch. Buzz, buzz off. off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the up button doesn't work again. <laughs> no. Oh no, this is unplayable without the up button. There is Hi. a there is a distinct problem with this video game. You just just keep crashing at the table, we'll be fine. This is my last life. I have a feeling this wouldn't be much better than the shoot 'em up in Family Games 1. I will say at least the this weird diner game has better graphics. It is it is a lot more aesthetically pleasing. True. We're all members of the Buzz Bunch now. Oh. Welcome to the club. There is one more game. It's apparently a art uh, one, but I don't know. I, I guess you click on the papers, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's very many games in this at all. They're a little bit more fleshed out, but they're also... Whoa. Ah! Philip CDI that. bitrate killer. There we go. Alright. Oh, yeah. Draw me that gay rat. Uh, okay. Well, that's its body. That's... That's its nose. Uh-huh. Is it got a tail? There we go. It's a gay rat. If I ever saw one, I like it. I like Perfect. It. Perfect. Perfect likeness. Mm-hmm. That's me in the morning. What other options we got? I'm glad it took us to the dumpster. Placemats. That's what we want. Give okay, me a nice, a uh... Um... 
Give me the best clown you got. That's oh, that's Santa, Santa Claus. That's no clown. That's okay, well, you need clowns, damn it. It is harder to scroll through the, the, the coloring pages. I do not like that. Yeah. All right. Hey, these look at all interesting. Um, What's this? I can't parse this. Okay, it looks like that's the penguin, but they're dead, and they are trussed like a turkey, and he is going to set fire to him. Has uh, his head been chopped off? I, I Yeah, you usually don't eat the heads of, of uh, penguins, I assume. I've, I've never actually... Oh, yeah, that would be gauche. Do people eat penguins? How about these folks? Okay. What are they up to? There's the penguin in happier times. Mm-hmm. Before. Before he was beheaded and cooked. <laughs> Let's look at one more. Okay, I heard a request for the bottom left. Bottom left, eh? Oh, yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, yeah, I like him. That's the kind of action I want. Yeah. All right. Look at that. He's so buff. That's one of them dinosaurs for hire. <laughs> okay. Polar bear liver is toxic, according to Estefane. I did not know that. Okay, I'll I'm, stay. I'll I'm stay glad away from to it. Know. That is Doom Guy's persona. Very good. What is this? These like stamps. Aw, ice cream. He wants ice cream. There you go. That's my masterpiece. We did it. Dinosaurs for ice cream is what I call it. <laughs> oh my god. We want to finish up here. I think we should. I it's... think I want to play just a little bit of one final game. Okay. I feel bad about ending on family games. That was, uh, that's something that could give you nightmares. Let's end on something that definitely won't give you nightmares. Okay. It'll just give you nightmares of comedy. The famous award-winning comedic golf game winner of the Cybermania Best video game of all time oh, award. Oh no, Danny! <laughs> You're making me squeak here, man. I think y'all know what this is. Why? It's been too long, man. No, it hasn't. We, there... we played it once. Oh, it's all stroking it all over the place in chat. <laughs> yeah, everyone's stroking all over. Oh, God! The old favorite. We'll just play a hole or two. Okay. But we gotta see our old buddy. It's been too long. We made him our mascot. Ah, the good old days. When miniature golf was a quaint but risky pastime. The problem was, either it was too hot or too wet. It was really like this. Or too cold. We were just always dying. We played miniature golf, the most risky sport of all. Or too dangerous. But that mm. was then. And this is now. There he is. Hey, greetings, putters. I'm Rollo the goofball. <laughs> I mean, golf ball. Welcome I'm so happy. Golf, the miniature golf theme park that picks up where the other golf courses leave off. You're about to enter a fully enclosed, climate-controlled marvel of CDI mini-golf technology. And mm -hmm. I'll be your guide. Prepare None of that outdoor bullshit. 18 of the world's toughest holes. But in the comfort of your own living room. How about that, huh? <laughs> so, let's go. <laughs> You've been banned so much, Danny. Please. <laughs> what? Everyone loves this. I wonder what holes it's going to give us. Thanks for reminding me, you oversized can opener. Sorry about the delay. Now, here we go. One, two, three, four! This game won awards, people. Show Welcome some respect. To the club mm -hmm. Your first stop at Wacky Golf. This is where you'll get everything you need for that first tee up. So look around. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know how to play. You we think I'm are... a beginner? Oh, so you want to play, huh? Well, first you gotta sign in. And wacky go. Oh. Good name. Come on, Thank just you. three little letters. Heck, <laughs> it was good enough for A, B, C. Hit. He okay, gives you shit two. if you don't enter all three letters. That's Ooh. that's something new I've discovered. 
and we are going to play as. Of course, we got to do the clown. Looks like there's no carts, so start walking. <laughs> Clowns, the one thing that is linked to all of tonight's games. I hope you all enjoyed tonight's stream. We're gonna finish things off with a couple of nice, relaxing holes at the old golf course. Let's go, Mr. Clown. Shit. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. Remember, this is a normal, easy game that everybody loves and adores. There we go. We can do this. Hmm, perfect. Oh, it was perfect. Holy shit. Literally perfect. Wow. That is putting. Shout out to Danny. Yeah, usually they shit talk you at the end. And if you miss that last shot, you get hit by the train and you go to golf heaven. Oh yeah, and then you have to putt there. We call that heaven skip. <laughs> oh, my favorite! Shark this is the one we're gonna end it on. Okay. Just when you thought it was safe to go back on the putting green, here comes the only miniature golf hole with teeth! With teeth! Oh, ho, ho. I kill myself sometimes! <laughs> Eugene Levy, please don't! Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> this has what may be my favorite ending of any hole in this game, and I can think of no better way than to conclude tonight's stream with this. But first, I'm gonna get this ball eaten a few hundred times. Mm -hmm. This is a really hard one. Because that's how this game works. Right? Okay, so don't hit it when he's in midair. How about right now? Nope. Uh, it doesn't work when he's in the water on the left. If you're unfamiliar with this game, it's a QTE. You're essentially timing your shot, and that's it. So you have to look for a specific... There we go! There we go! Cranking it. How's the wife? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> How do you think his wife is? Do you think they're divorced? Do you think that, like, having mental problems? That was a really long, uh, like it was a little bit too much to go into during mm -hmm. your coffee break. Mm -hmm. You really have to wonder. That's the great thing about this game. World building. It doesn't tell you everything outright. It doesn't spell it out. It makes you wonder what that shark's relationship is with his wife. How is the wife? How is she? Well, uh... <laughs> that's Wacky World of Miniature Golf. I thought I'd cap things off with a game that everyone loves, is universally beloved, uh, and has never done anything wrong. It's normal. In conclusion, that also sums up the CDI. It's a great system that's never done anything wrong. Never a problem. And everything you play on it is guaranteed instant joy. I feel joyed now. I was a I... little bit, uh, was a little bit down, a little bit injured, but now my injuries have all healed up. Uh, I feel stronger than ever, and I'm ready to approach the world such as it is right yeah, now. Yeah, everybody, shout out to Danny for pl doing the stream with battle damage. <laughs> like, seriously, seriously. I ate such fucking shit. I fell to the <laughs> ground on my <laughs> elbows. I screamed and cursed. <laughs> that was two minutes before the stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's a miracle this turned out as well as it did, uh, even though we did have to veer into Netherlands territory. Mm -hmm. But we we uh, understand our friends in the, uh, the Nordic region a little bit better now, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. They like terrible shooters, mm -hmm. they like uh, extremely poorly designed games, and more than anything, they like Domino. They love... and clowns! Mm-hmm. Clowns. So many clowns. Clowns? That is the thing that has linked tonight's stream together. Thank you, clowns. Thank you, business clown. Thank you, non-business clown. Thank you, mini-golf playing clown. All the clowns are thanked. They deserve to be. They do. What a, what a weird stream that was. <laughs> what a batch of games. <laughs> No, no coherence, no kind of link between them. We can't, we just have to make it up. Like, yeah, clowns. It games about clowns, accidentally. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. We're done. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, and Rolo reminds you, please, plastics, practice social distancing. <laughs> Brains are still a little bit, uh, Listen, a little bit wonky right now. Yeah, again, battle damage.
little bit battle damaged. Mm -hmm. But I, I had fun with that. I showed off all the games I wanted to show off. I showed off the filth of Florence, Italy. <laughs> <laughs> the filthiest place on earth. Uh, if you want to see filth, head to your local museum, because boy, they got it. Hey. Oof. Well. Hubba hubba. <laughs> There's no people with no clothes on. Unbelievable. Awful. On awful. the other hand, if you want games you can play with your family, I have two such collections for CDI. Get them Family Games 1 and also Family Games 2. Uh, good time will be had by all. And of course, Wacky World of Miniature Golf. You can't go wrong with that. And someday, kids gotta learn about grammar, so make sure you buy a face or two. Mm -hmm. Hell, you might as well just get the whole Philips CDI library. Get That's my thing. recommendation. Uh, maybe save Chuckle of Gals until, you know, later, though. Yeah, yeah, the, the kids, they'll understand that when they're later. Mm -hmm. When they're older, mm -hmm. <laughs> and also later. And plastic. Brain scrambled, all CDI right. played. Alex, please wrap us up. All right, thank you all very much to everyone who supports us on Patreon. We couldn't do without you. If you'd like to vote on what we play every Wednesday, uh, you can pitch five bucks a month for our Patreon, which is at patreon.com slash retropals. And you can choose what we play. Uh, we didn't have a, a poll for this week. We decided to just go with a crazy ass, uh, CDI, jankest stuff we could find. It was the at. right choice. It was the April Fool's choice. Mm -hmm. It was, it was like, I, we, weren't, we weren't feeling like blind today. So we just figured we'd tell you the truth that the CDI kicks ass, which is mm -hmm. true. It does. Let's see. Um, we are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We just posted a highlight of the DuckTales MS-DOS game. Do you check that out? That game is weird and you get to play as Launchpad. Play, you gotta get to play the stocks and you also get to crash like a big dipshit, just like Launchpad. So <laughs> that's for all you nostalgia nerds there. Enjoy. We are also on Twitter, twitter.com slash retropalshq. Uh, that's where we post when we go live. And whenever one of you sends us a dank meme, which is very frequently lately. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And also we've been retweeting a lot of the uh, retropal-centric uh, Animal Crossing designs. Uh, oh yeah, those are great. Are Uzi's Thank made you. some really good ones. Oh, they're I really so like good. those. Uh, please feel free to make us things about clowns, either on the CDI mm -hmm. or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. All clown content is accepted. All clowns, all the time. All right. Well, good timing. It looks like BBH is starting up his stream, and he is participating in the Bongo Olympics. What? A, a tournament that just started up last night. This runs for about a week. If you want to participate, go to Chubo's Discord, I believe. Uh, it's uh, essentially just a lineup of 10 games in the Bongo universe, that being Jetsoft's Bongo, and also games that are semi-related, if not in name, then in spirit. Games like Fantasy by SNK, <gasps> games like Congo Bongo, the uh, Sega, the Bongo ripoff that Sega produced. Mm -hmm. Those are all excellent games. It's a high score competition for fun, and I think you're going to get some good gameplay out of this. So. Go, go hope that BBH does not be chased by a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the, the uh, attract mode to Bongo right now. Great game, confirmed. Oh, it's for right. the entire month? Wonderful. Oh, it's a whole month. Okay, so we have a while to participate. Hell yeah. Please consider participating. If not, watch and uh, cheer on your favorite runners. Bongo Olympics. It's going to go wild this year. That's <laughs> my prediction. Uh, yeah, so enjoy that. Have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.